marching along with all the male soldiers. We also see some North Koreans taking a quick nap on a park bench, appearing to be homeless, much to the dismay of the government who demanded this photo be deleted. Facing Forward This one may seem pretty uncontroversial, but remember how much North Korea loves its dear leaders. Statues and pictures of these men are so highly revered that taking a photo of the back of one is nothing short of sacrilegious. Stark Differences North Korea likes to think it's the best of the best, so they definitely don't want you to see how much larger and well-developed China is. Here we see North Korea on the left and China on the right. At night, the difference is severe as North Korea struggles to provide electricity for its people. Night Soil this photo may seem pretty innocuous, but it's troubling for North Korean officials for two reasons. It's illegal to take photos from trains for some reason, and these two fellows are waiting to sell night soil to passengers. Because of chemical bans, officials in North Korea force its citizens to do their duty, so to speak, by handing over certain amounts of feces. Dirty Truth the North Korean capital of Pyongyang is routinely hailed to be the greatest place around, so any photos of it appearing less than lavish are forbidden. But the truth is there's no shortage of rundown buildings in even the nicest of North Korean cities. Safety first. Apparently, they don't have OSHA in North Korea because these working conditions look a tad unsafe to say the least. Nobody seems concerned about this man dangling precariously high above the cement ground while wearing no kind of safety gear. Powerless. Wow, check out this North Korean citizen utilizing their top-of-the-line computer. Oh wait, something is a little bit off. It's the computer because of the lack of electricity. This photographer also experienced a power outage right in beautiful Pyongyang when attempting to visit an art gallery. Fancy. Sure, they may not always have electricity or safety standards or sturdy buildings, but the wealthy elite in Pyongyang sure know how to dress. Even if you're just going to the supermarket, there's no reason not to look absolutely fabulous and show off a little bit, if you can afford it. Public Transportation to say that public transportation in North Korea is lacking is putting it mildly. Even soldiers need some help getting from town to town sometimes. It's not uncommon to see them hitchhiking on highways, although the government would never admit this to outsiders. Child Labor These kids look like they should be sitting in a classroom right now, not toiling away in a field under the scorching sun. These other children look like they're bringing someone lunch, but the North Korean government demanded this photo be deleted because it shows more poverty than they are comfortable with. Taking the bus Remember what we said about the quality of public transportation in North Korea? Instead of just calling for another bus, which they likely don't have, here we see a group of citizens pushing a broken down bus along the road. But we're sure all of the missiles in Kim Jong-un's armory work just great. Keep off the grass here we see a North Korean citizen harvesting grass. Yes, plain old grass. We aren't sure what he intends to do with it, but some people have suggested that grass might well be that evening's dinner. Well, since Kim Jong-il once told his citizens that it's okay to eat sawdust, we suppose grass is a step up. Traffic Safety if you've ever sarcastically told someone to go play in traffic, well, that's apparently a real thing in North Korea. Maybe it's a good thing they have notoriously poor automobiles and public transportation since kids can be seen sitting and playing right in the streets without anyone doing anything about it. Scary. You might not notice anything unusual about this photo, but it was taken using a camera flash, which is banned by the government. No, not just because it makes people look washed out, because they believe that flash photography will end up scaring the people of North Korea. Yes, much scarier than playing in traffic. Everyday Life Seeing seemingly average citizens making their way around town seems pretty standard, but photographing random citizens is frowned upon in North Korea. A lot of these people seem like they could be anywhere, but North Korea definitely wouldn't want people seeing this photo of a man relieving himself right on the street. We also see a woman shopping in a store that seems to have very few people or items available to purchase inside. Security we all know that escaping North Korea is no easy task, and it's all the more difficult when you have to contend with strategically placed guard towers designed to spot anyone who might think of defecting. Any place where someone could enter or leave North Korea is heavily monitored, including this nearly deserted entry point for foreign visitors. Rural most images of North Korea are captured in its capital city, Pyongyang, but here we see some of the more rural areas. 
Farming is an integral and essential part of life in North Korea, as most of its citizens struggle to produce enough food to survive. Outside of Pyongyang, you can see miles of seemingly endless green fields. Transport it's estimated that there is about one car for every 1,000 people in North Korea, so needless to say, citizens need to find different ways to get around. Many people are forced to rely on their own two legs in order to travel long distances. Even workers who are tasked with carrying heavy equipment down a main road are forced to do so by relying on their own strength instead of a vehicle of some kind. City even in North Korea's crown jewel, the city of Pyongyang, there are large areas that are not well kept. Gloomy, ill-maintained buildings are everywhere, although North Korea would prefer you only focus on the nice-looking structures. One of the few hotels available for foreign visitors is the Yanggakdo Hotel. Visitors can look out over the gloomy cityscape even if they're forbidden from taking photos of it. Cleaning one thing you might notice about Pyongyang is that the streets are startlingly clean for a large city. It's unlikely you'll see trash littering the streets here. Keeping streets and sidewalks spotless is a major priority, and people are forced to clean the already pristine sidewalks and streets here, just in case important government officials or Kim Jong-un himself decides to pay a visit to the area. When was the last time you saw citizens trying to sweep off the sidewalk in New York City? Propaganda Propaganda is an accepted part of life in North Korea, but it can seem strange to outsiders. Their customs declaration form makes it clear that you're not allowed to bring laptops, guidebook from South Korea into the country if you want to be allowed entry. You can't even grab a couple drinks at a restaurant without being bombarded with propaganda being shown on television. Also, taking pictures of and interacting with staff is a huge no-no for tourists visiting North Korea. Anti-American People in North Korea might not want you to see the poverty that afflicts their country, but you can visit a museum of war atrocities, followed by a room dedicated to the United States surrendering to North Korea. Indoctrination You might notice looking at these photos that people in North Korea are just a little bit obsessed with their former leaders Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. Children are taught about them at a very young age and their heads are filled with all sorts of propaganda. It can seem like it's impossible to go two feet without seeing the face of a former leader looking at you, depicted in everything from television screens to statues. Whether you live out in the country or in an urban area like Pyongyang, there's no denying that life is certainly rough in North Korea. If you're fascinated by this strange and insular country, be sure to subscribe to The Riches for even more incredible videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.